It's now with breaking news. A Lawrence teenager is now a convicted killer found guilty of murdering and beheading a classmate. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Lisa Hughes. And I'm David Wade. It took a jury a little more than nine hours to reach that verdict. WBZ's Louisa Muller is live for us in Salem tonight with the breaking details. Louisa. Well, David, Lisa, this case was built on witness testimony, texts, and social media posts, not on physical evidence. But a jury still found that Matthew Borges planned and perpetrated the brutal killing and mutilation of his high school classmate. Is the defendant guilty or not guilty? And if guilty, guilty of what and on what theory? Uh, the guilty. Matthew Borges uh, stared ahead, virtually emotionless, as he was found guilty of first degree murder. If the defendant, Matthew Borges, is guilty on the charge of first degree murder, on the theories of deliberate premeditation and extreme atrocity and cruelty. But the family of Lee Manuel Veloria Paulino could not contain their emotions. Family members bent over, wiping their eyes and noses. They shared tears and hugs. No comment. No. After the verdict, they walked out, their heads down, Lee's face displayed on their shirts. He was kind and loving, and he had a family, and he was loved. It's been more than three years since then 15 year old Matthew Borges was arrested for brutally stabbing and decapitating his Lawrence High School classmate. And despite zero DNA evidence or a murder weapon linking him to the crime, the jury found that Borges alone brutally killed Paulino despite conspiring with others to steal from Paulino's home. His attorney telling reporters he had little reaction to the outcome. Uh, not a lot. He just wanted me to call his mother, um, and he's, he's taken it uh, as well as can be expected. Now, at age 18, Borges will have the chance to appeal his conviction. There, there will be appeal and appeal. Uh, it's, it, it's automatic. Um, I'll file all the paperwork to get that done, and then um, he will be appointed uh, an appellate lawyer. Now, Borges gets an automatic life sentence, but because he committed the crime as a juvenile, he'll be eligible for parole after 30 years. A judge will ultimately decide when exactly he's eligible for parole during a sentencing hearing on July 9th. We're live in Salem, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News.